Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, What Makes Uniforms a Powerful Promotional Product, by Steve Yanaselli from ChefWorks. Before we get started, I'll go over a few things so you know how to participate in today's event. You're listening in using your computer speaker system by default. If you would prefer to join over the phone, just select telephone in the audio pane and the dial-in information will be displayed. You'll have the opportunity to submit questions to Steve by typing them into the questions pane on the control panel. You may send your questions in at any time. We'll collect these and address them during the Q&A at the end. If we don't have time to answer all of the questions, we'll record them and Steve will answer them in writing after the webinar and we'll send you a copy of the answers. To give you a brief introduction on today's presenter, Steve is the General Manager at ChefWorks Australia. He leads a dynamic team to deliver premium service, supporting and complementing Australia's number one hospitality clothing brand, ChefWorks. Steve has been with ChefWorks Management for over three years and has successfully energised and utilised his team to help grow the ChefWorks brand in Australia. The business has seen record growth over the last two years, which Steve attributes to its customer-centric culture and class-leading product portfolio. I'll now hand you over to Steve. Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for taking time out of your no doubt busy schedules to, to hear me out here and uh, learn a little bit more about ChefWorks and hopefully I can give you some insights into uh, not only just our brand and, and, and our services, but uh, some insights into apparel sales and, and how it can be a benefit to your business. Um, so we'll cover off a few things in the webinar today. Uh, first of all, an introduction to our brand and a little bit about our backstory both uh, internationally and here in Australia. Um, a few of the, I, I guess, basics, why to sell uniforms, why they're important to, um, to the people wearing them, uh, some of the key selling points and obviously the challenges uh, that will be faced selling uh, apparel as, as part of a, 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 a brand or, a, or a, to a hospitality venue. Um, and then we'll go forward and, and talk about how we help you in, the, in that sales process and, uh, and we'll close from there. Obviously as Kate's already mentioned, any questions or um, things that might come up through the webinar, please feel free to drop them in the chat box uh, and I'll try to get to most of them at the end. Um, okay, so ChefWorks was uh, established around 60 years ago. Uh, we originally started as a fabric brand. Uh, we are manufacturing um, high quality fabrics for both uniform suppliers uh, and fashion labels around the world uh, out of South Africa. Um, the uh, business was quite, quite good uh, and then uh, sort of later on down its track, uh, some of the sons of the, of the business, some of, uh, father around the business, obviously, um, moved to San Diego and established ChefWorks as a fashion label. So ChefWorks um, was really built around the emerging trends at the time that the sun saw in America. Uh, there was a lot more open plan kitchens coming along, there was a lot more romance in the food industry. We started to see you know, our first sort of rock star chefs coming about and um, they uh, saw this opportunity to move them you know, away from wearing the old Hessian bag sort of looking chef jackets into something a bit more fashionable, a bit more uh, form-fitting and, and a bit more a bit more swag, I guess, uh, in, in their work. Um, from there, uh, the brand was going quite well in America and it started to you know, uh, expand its international reach and ChefWorks Australia was started uh, around 18 years ago. Started by our current CEO, Jonathan Brown. Uh, he moved to the country uh, then and you know, came with a couple of boxes of chef gear and uh, started to do his, do his work. The, um, originally he had always intended to go down a, a distribution model um, just because of the size and the geographical expanse of, of Australia. It's uh, very hard to service every cafe uh, when you're running a, a brand and a, and a service. So um, he started knocking on doors of, of distributors. However, given that the world wasn't such a small place back then and not everybody knew what was going on internationally, um, he uh, got a lot of knockbacks. So unfortunately he couldn't set up a, a, a means of distribution. Uh, with that in mind, he, he was essentially pushed down the path of, of dealing direct. So he got his gear and he got his uh, what printed catalogs he had and, and he went and, and knocked on a few doors of hotels and venues and, and started to get the brand moving uh, with some good responses. Uh, there's quite a few milestone stories and if you ever got the opportunity to talk to Jonathan at one of the other events, uh, have a chat to him is quite an interesting character. Uh, one of the one of the milestones that stands out in my mind is uh, his first ever print run of catalogs. So he 
he saved up his pennies. He printed around 2,000 catalogues um, with an ordering form on the back and a, and, a, and a fax number. Got those distributed out and the next morning he came in um, and the fax machine was out of paper. Uh, as you could probably imagine, it was quite a milestone for him. He was quite excited. The brand was finally you know, seeing some results. Uh, unfortunately, back then, fax machines didn't have so much memory, so it probably lost a few orders as well, but uh, we'll ignore that and push on with the good stuff. Um, you fill the paper back up and the orders kept on coming in. Uh, it, I've put it in the timeline here because it was also one of the key uh, factors in, our, in a, the development of our brand and really where we switched our business model, uh, the 2000 Olympics. So uh, the Olympic Committee obviously had an incumbent supplier. Um, Chefworks was relatively small in the country at that stage, surfacing you know like a, maybe a handful of cafes and hotels. Um, a few weeks before the Olympics, the incumbent supplier fell through. Uh, they couldn't they couldn't fulfil the order of the chef clothing. Um, and someone that knew someone that knew someone knew Jonathan, and the call was made. And um, luckily, given our international footprint at that stage, we we had uh, access to enough product to get. Uh, get everything, everybody fitted out. Jonathan spent most of the Olympics in the kitchen, uh, not as a, a chef, but as a, someone fitting out chefs and um, making sure they were all comfortable with their uniforms and things like that. The benefit of, of it was there was around all of a sudden sort of 300 chefs that knew our brand, that had worn our brand, that knew had a personal relationship with Jonathan and that uh, after the Olympics went back to their relative or respective um, you know, hotels, cafes, clubs, um, and all of a sudden we, we had a brand. This really was the footprint for how our business model turned around because uh, Jonathan was now able to call a prospective distributor and say, hey, I've got a guy or a girl that uh, wants to wear our brand but doesn't have access to it in your region. Will you consider selling it to them? And here's a wholesale rate and so on and so forth. Uh, so it was a, it was a great uh, little story to, to sort of really cement us in as a wholesaler in this country. Over the last couple of years, we've had some record growth, and um, as Kate's already mentioned, we've uh, attributed it to really two things. We, we uh, saw that uh, this urban industrial trend was evolving uh, here and internationally, and we released the Urban Range in early 2014. Urban Range is a sort of a complete range of um, you know denim and other fabric um, industrial clothing, uh, from shirts to aprons to jackets to pants, um, all, all the works. And uh, th that range has really cemented us in as a sort of a fashion leader in this in this segment. The other thing, as again as Kate's mentioned, is uh, we use this opportunity to really bolster our, our support services and, and how we supported our distributors, just to enable the sale and to enable um, an ease of transaction for them and ultimately their client and access to our brand. Um, so now Chefworks is uh, in over 80 countries around the world. Uh, it is the largest hospitality apparel supplier um, and a great brand and still very much a family business. Uh, the brothers still own the business. Uh, the business here is a family business uh, and we, we try to carry those values through everything we do. Um, a little bit about me. So Kate's uh, already covered a lot of it off but uh, I've been with the company for about three and a half years now. It is my first experience uh, well, in both in the product business and in, in the apparel trade, so it's been quite a jump for me. My background was uh, as a, a generalist manager in CBA and other big uh, corporate organisations. So I came to the business with a good understanding of uh, processes and, and uh, the, the service benefit um, coming from a professional service background. Um, Again, uh, the opportunity came to me through, you know, uh, sort of family connections. Uh, one of the sons was originally working for me, and I encouraged him to pursue his dreams in small business. Uh, and, I, and he said at the time, if we get the opportunity to work together again, I'll, I'll make it happen. Eight years later, he gave me a phone call, and here I am. Um, so now we'll cover off sort of why we believe uniforms are fundamental. Uh, um, and, and why sell uniforms to your clients. So it takes about seven seconds to uh, create a first impression. A first impression often isn't verbal or it often isn't with a handshake. It's when someone's walking into a venue, be it a, a cafe or a restaurant, uh, and they're looking at the staff. Um, oh, for a good example is if you're walking into a, any of the cafes down here in Sydney and you see a guy with a good beard uh, covered in tattoos and a nice Chefworks Urban apron on, 
uh, you know, this hipster uh, guy is probably going to serve you a pretty good coffee. A perception is created in seconds. So uh, we, we believe it, it, uniforms go a long way into presenting a, an image of a brand, uh, be it in a hospitality venue or if it's an event, if you're, if you're doing a launch event or any kind of event. Um, having your catering staff or your staff in, in the right uniform with the right look and feel can really help polish that brand image that you're trying to present or that, that experience marketing you're trying to sell. Another exciting reason to uh, sell hospitality uniforms is the performance of the sector, or the performance of the industry sector in Australia. So uh, the hospitality sector represents the, the biggest and the best growing sector in, in the industry in Australia growing at about 16.9%, uh, it's just a little bit above CPI, um, but you can imagine with that becomes uh, comes a great deal of opportunity. Uh, currently the sector employs around 550 people, uh, 550,000 people, sorry, a bit more than 550, um, and growing to around 650 in 2019. There's plenty of opportunity within that growth um, to, to create uh, a nice category for your business uh, in selling hospitality uh, uniforms. As mentioned, and continuing on with why to, why to sell hospitality uniforms and why they could be a benefit to your business, um, is the, the opportunity to be involved in that, that growth market um, in, in Australia. Obviously mining and other, other industry sectors are suffering at the moment, but hospitality is still growing strong. Um, with ChefWorks and, um, and, and the partnership we'll offer you, we, we offer you the access to the largest range of hospitality apparel. We've got a huge women's range, I think. Uh, we've got about 180 different chef jackets, we've got about 560 different uh, aprons, over 90 different shirts, um, pants and so on and so forth. So just a huge product portfolio because we recognise that um, every venue is different, everybody wants to create their own style and flair and it's important to be able to offer them something that, uh, that will suit them, suit their need. Uh, I guess the benefit of our international organisation is that we can carry such a large product portfolio because obviously, um, you know, we, we all, not all of our lines are fast moving lines but uh, still a, an important makeup of our product portfolio. Another key factor uh, in that is the margin, that, the margin opportunity for you guys. So we, pr we try to protect 40 to 50 percent margin um, for our distributors. Obviously, um, there's some, some categories within our, our product portfolio that can't do that where, where the, the market can't tolerate high price or, um, you know, there's other environmental influences on that. Um, you know, the cost of goods um, is high or something like that. Uh, but we, uh, yeah, we try to protect around 40 to 50 percent, so a good opportunity. And lastly, I guess uh, a key factor about uh, uniforms and, and selling uniforms is it's a long-term business relationship. Um, with churn, uh, especially in hospitality, the skill set of a hospitality uh, personnel is quite universal. Chefs bounce around a lot, uh, front of house staff bounce, bounce around a lot. Uh, your churn rate is around um, above 30% in hospitality, which is sort of 10, 15% above other industry. Um, so with, with that in mind and, and the growth in the industry, uh, once you present a uniform solution, um, and, or even if it's for an event and for, for a branded event, once you uh, present that solution, you're likely to see the repeat business. Uh, we'll talk a little bit ha about how we manage repeat business a, a bit later on when I show you some of our technology. So why, you know, uh, if, if you're not excited to be involved in selling uh, uniforms just yet, um, uh, what, uh, we probably need to bridge the gap for your client and, and tell them why it's important for them. Uniforms play a big part in, in culture and productivity of an organisation or, or an event or a launch event. It really uh, unifies a team, meaning of the word. Um, so, you know, if, if someone's feeling good, if they're comfortable, if they're wearing the right gear, if they uh, feel like they're part of something and their friend over there is wearing it, they're more likely to respond and act in that behaviour. So, you know, this age old saying, sort of look good, feel good, act good. Uh, is, is where it's really coming from. In that, with that in mind, we've got a range of technologies um, that we use, especially given our, our background as a, a fabric manufacturer and really where a lot of our innovation comes from. Uh, we've got some award-winning cool vent fabrics and it's similar to a, like a Nike dry fit. 
uh, that we use in a lot of our chef clothing and, and our, our shirts to make sure that whoever's wearing them is quite comfortable and you know can withstand the, the long shifts. You know, one of the key things we say uh, when we're dealing with uh, clients on, on your behalf, and again, we'll get to how that eventuates later on, is that uh, quite often your, your resource is spending more time in their uniform than they are in their own bed. So they want to be comfortable, um, and you, you want to make that, that day as, as, as easy as it can be on them. So with that in mind, again, we've got all these technologies. One of the more recent ones we innovated was a, an apron clip on a lot of the chef jackets and, and sort of waiter shirts that we are now making. The apron clip is a, just a clip on the back of the neck and designed so that you put the strap of a bib apron through it, uh, clip it on there, and when you're leaning over a table serving coffees or when you're doing food prep and you're leaning over for extended periods of, periods of time, rather than the weight of the apron sitting across the back of your neck and causing unnecessary tension, it's held to the garment and it sits across your shoulders and you sort of forget you're wearing it. It's just little things like that that make, um, make the end user's experience a lot more enjoyable. Uh, and help uh, cement our position as a quality and innovative brand. Lastly, there's the sort of non-tangible extended reach of um, and why this is important to your events and you know launch events and also cafes and restaurants. Um, we're all familiar with the emergence of social media, making this world a very small place. Um, but you know there's a repercussion about wearing a uniform. You see here a lot of our clients are sort of tagging themselves in Facebook and, and Instagram and uh, what, they, what, the, what they're doing with these images is one, they're creating an instantly recognisable brand and that's done through the uniform solution and two, they're also humanising that brand by putting people behind it. So the linkage of the two uh, is what creates creates a difference. Obviously if those same photos were taken with uh, without the uniform on it, you wouldn't have the same brand impact and the same carry the same brand weight. Um, so we, we believe that's a fundamental part of why why people need to look at uniform solutions as an opportunity. Some of the key challenges, um, as I sort of alluded to already, really revolve around everybody has different styles and, and tastes when it comes to uniform. Um, we offer, and I'll just jump now to some of our product catalogues. Um, to overcome this, um, we, we offer, as I said, that huge range of hospitality apparel. So. We uh, are just flicking through the urban range here. This is um, uh, you know, that, just that one category of our business. Obviously, there's the chef jackets and everything else as well. We offer a huge range of shirts and, and pants and aprons to to overcome that um, the challenge of trying to find the right right clothes for the right people. Um, the consumer decision for a uniform is extremely complex for the value. Uh, for example, you know, I've already mentioned the color, fit, uh, individual style, how it looks in, the, in a venue, the texture of the fabric, how it feels, uh, the weight of the fabric. And sometimes people spend you know, more time deciding what shirt they're going to, going to wear at the venue than they do which oven they're going to buy and they might be spending $6,000 on the oven and $60 on the shirt. So for a relatively low value item, it's a co quite a complex consumer decision, I'm sure. Uh, we've all been there in one way, shape or form. Um, so it becomes a bit of a challenge when you're trying to sell uniforms. Um, how do you overcome that complexity um, and make it easy for the business um, try to make the decision or the person trying to make the decision? Uh, we offer a range of services to help you overcome that um, and we'll go into some of those just now. Uh, the first of them being a 100% return policy. So we, we don't have any restocking fees. You keep our items saleable and, and sort of keep the tag on it for us and we can use it for repeat sampling and things like that. Uh, we're we're going to give you 100% credit, obviously, uh, less uh, any you know, cost of freight or anything like that that's uh, not related to the actual product. Um, what that enables you to do, because our product portfolio is quite large and um, because your consumer often doesn't don't know what they want, uh, you can now buy a range that we can help you narrow down, take it to them, they can look at 10 different garments or five different garments, send back the ones they don't want and that makes sure that uh, you don't lose all your profit in, in sampling um, and uh, you know, we're happy when you know, you've got a better opportunity to convert a lead with a, with a better product portfolio to present. The other thing which sort of complements that, that return policy is we also offer samples of 50% off. So you know, a lot of the time you will want a, a couple of samples that you want to keep in the back of your reps' cars or in your showroom or just 
a couple of samples that you do want to hold on to. So we, we offer you each customer, you know, 50 percent off each style, one one of each style, so that they've got something to hold on to, um, should they wish. Um, lastly, and uh, I guess about the ease of transaction for both you and, and your customer, uh, is our drop shipping policy. So we'll go into that a little bit more uh, detail when I show you the technology that we use to to, to ser service you and help you out. Um, but uh, we do offer drop shipping direct to your customer. Uh, one of the most important things we do and, and one of the most important support services is our sales partnership. So we'll operate as a brand expert for you. Um, we'll come to your meeting, we'll uh, dial into a conference call uh, and a lot of, the, you know, once we've established a, a, a relationship with your business and, and a bit, there's a bit of trust there, quite often we end up working directly with your clients um, and uh, making, you know, going through all that sampling process and positioning logos and, and doing all those things so that your client gets the best service and then when it comes to commercials obviously we, we run that through you. Um, just moving on now. So that's when you've, you know, that's when we've got a lead going where those support services really come into play. To help you drum up leads we also offer a range of support services and um, uh, we have an in-house graphics design uh, we can tailor any of our marketing material, and as you probably saw in our catalogues and, uh, and we'll see later on our web, yeah, we've got quite an asset rich uh, media uh, library, so um, plenty of great images, lifestyle and mannequin and so on and so forth to really help present in uh, our product the best. Uh, but we can tailor all of that to, to your business to make sure that uh, your customers not only receiving uh, imagery and, and a presence about our brand, but they're getting that presence through your brand. Um, it, these sort of proposals, you know, where we're mixing and matching different products of ours, help our consumers or, or your your customers really piece together what sort of uniform solution they want. We also uh, extend that to, you know, if you want to do any window signage at your at your showroom or you want any point of sale support, we're always willing to be involved and, and help you out. Uh, as I said, we've got in-house resources ready at the at the go to uh, to help you out there. We also offer uh, in-house embroidery service uh, for those other members that sort of don't have embroidery or, or want the convenience of just having it straight from the manufacturer pre-embroidered. Uh, we also have an APA-only uh, exclusive deal where there's no embroidery setup fees, which could often save you a huge chunk um, of the of the cost of, especially your smaller orders. Um, with embroidery, uh, any embroidery order that we receive, we obviously um, present you back with a, a digital proof that you can then provide to your customer for final sign-off, making sure sizing, positioning and so on and colours are, are, are correct uh, and then we go from there. Uh, printing, we uh, outsource our printing so uh, there are setup fees involved and uh, to be honest uh, printing doesn't quite last as long as embroidery so we don't see as much of it but uh, we can certainly help you there uh, and although it's outsourced, we do have a wholesale relationship and we pass those prices straight on to you, so still very competitive. Um, and uh, on top of that, you get the convenience of having it all straight from the manufacturer, uh, which works quite well with that, uh, that drop shipping methodology. Um, so now, on to our tech. Um, so we've recently released uh, a new online ordering platform. We've, we've had uh, one for quite a while, but this is a new and improved version. So I'll just go on here. So, I've, so you just go to chefworks.com.au, go to my account, login. Uh, login with your individual details. Um, uh, and you can have multiple um, logins uh, for your account. It just helps if you know your name. Oh, there we go. All right, looks like we're in for work. Now, so um, I'm going to save that password, which I probably should have done before the webinar, uh, for those of you that are having a chuckle at my expense. Um, <laughs> When you log in, you go straight to your account summary page. So the account summary page lets you um, 
let you track any of the orders that have, have already been placed. So that's it's all live integrated into our shipping partners so that you'll go straight to their site. You can see if it's on board with Courier, you can even download proof of deliveries. One of the features that uh, we particularly like is that you can pay for your invoices. That's a, a great feature. Uh, you can pay online uh, for those of you, of you that have account terms. Um, you can also go down and um, should you be doing any quoting, um, you can see your saved quotes here and you can uh, print the quotes, uh, prove the quotes and get it all rolling with a click of a button. Um, it really helps centralise everything. You can download statements, pay your invoices, etc, etc. One of the key features and when it comes to that drop shipping that I want to call out is if you click edit your contact details here, you can go down here and you'll see that uh, you can upload a logo. Now if you upload your logo there, any business stationery that we send to your customer when we drop ship, which is only a packing list, uh, just to certify what goods are in the box that they're opening, uh, it comes with your business stationery, um, with your logo printed on it, not ours. What that does is it just makes the customer, well essentially makes our warehouse your warehouse. The customer has an experience that the goods they're receiving uh, are from you and obviously will uh, electronically do any commercially related invoices and so on and so forth, so your customer doesn't see any of that. The other thing we do at this stage, which I think is really important and uh, goes further to express you know, how serious we are about protecting our distributors, if a uh, customer is ordered through you, we update our CRM uh, with that, those, that customer's details uh, and your account as the parent. What typically happens in our industry is two years later they're working away and they go, where did I get this apron from, I need to get more of them. They pick up, they see our label on the brand, it might be a different resource that didn't know they were dealing with you. They'll contact us and say, hey, we need more, this is our address. We just do a quick search and we can pretty pretty easily identify who we last did the sale through for them and we'll refer that business back to you. That just sort of cements your position with that customer and, and also gives you an opportunity to get uh, additional basket sales. Uh, another great feature about this online portal now is that um, you can go in uh, and you can see your prices straight away. So you can develop your own quotes and, and see exactly um, what uh, what opportunity you have. If I go to the Urban Apron section, for example, you'll see the RRP and you'll see your price. Um, it has an advanced sort of um, search capability, so uh, you can really narrow down quite quickly based on what your client's talking to you about, colour, uh, even even price point. You can you can scale down price points and uh, so on and so forth. Really helping you narrow down the range really quickly. Um, yeah, so that's a quick overview of the online portal. Um, it becomes a benefit to you. So in closing, I guess uh, what we have really centered our business around is this sort of category. Your success is our success. We've built, uh, we've got an amazing brand we believe and we present an amazing quality product. But uh, most of all, we, we, we look to partner with you and build a category within your business um, to ensure that you, know, you get the, the best success you can and we know that by uh, having that relationship with you, we'll also get, the, get good success. Um, that draws me pretty much to the end, Kate. Uh, don't know if any questions came about through the, through the experience, but uh, yes, over to you. Excellent, no worries. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for a great insight into the world of uniforms. Um, just have one question. What's your usual dispatch time for orders? Okay, so we, um, we have a, a policy where we, anything in our Sydney warehouse will dispatch within one to two business days. So obviously if the uh, order is late in the day, we might get it out next day, but we typically try to get it out same day. Now we carry, we're, we're relatively stock ready here in our Sydney warehouse. We carry all our fast moving lines um, and plenty of them. Uh, anything else that's not in our Sydney warehouse, we have our offshore warehouses um, and it's only three days away. So your customer could really expect uh, their product, uh, or you can expect the product within five to seven days. Uh, typically it's one to two days. Awesome, okay. Um, and another question that's come through, what's the cost of hard copy catalogues and do you have private label catalogues? Or are they just with your brand? We don't have uh, we don't have private label catalogues, but we can probably uh, work with you to achieve something. And we don't charge for printed catalogues. So I would just ask you that you don't uh, abuse the privilege and have boxes of them lying around because, as you know, they're cost to our business. But uh, in the nature of supporting you, we'll just send you some catalogues. So someone from my team will be in contact after this webinar to each of the attendees. Uh, and we'll just introduce ourselves uh, again, uh, put a 
key contact to the to the brand, and um, we'll also talk to you about if you need any printed materials or electronic materials. Excellent. Okay. Um, there doesn't seem to be any more questions. If you do have any other questions after the webinar, please feel free to contact myself or Steve. Um, we'll forward them on. Um, tomorrow you'll receive a follow-up email with the link to the recording of today's webinar. Um, and I think that's it. So on behalf of Steve and everyone at APA, thank you very much for joining us and have a lovely afternoon. Yeah, thanks guys. Ciao.